Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about your basic fundamental understandings of how to fix the common problems that can occur and sometimes do occur when we do get our updates on our Chrome OS devices. So that will be including a Chrome book as well as a Chrome box. And so, you know, every Chromebook is going to be basically the same for the most part. With that being said, if you have a common issue, which I might be able to show you an issue right away, which if I click this, as you can see, I have an issue where this falls behind. If you see, I just refresh the page. And anyway, so we can actually go through this together. Now, what we're going to need to do is we're going to open up our settings. So we'll go file, we'll go down, oh sorry, not settings, we'll go to more tools, and we need to get to extensions. And the way extensions works is you know, you just add on one of these and they either show up right here or some of the extensions don't have an icon in the top corner. They're just kind of in the background, such as the ad blockers, the uh, the calculator, all that type of stuff. The phone, you know, that's the calculator is actually going to be based inside your actual uh, app drawer. So what we're going to do is I actually believe the error was by this Google cast, which is uh, created by Google or the developers at Google somewhere. And if I minus that, as you see, it just disappeared in the corner. And I'm going to reopen up a tab. And no. Let me refresh the page. I think I know what it is. There it is. So it is that cast tab, definitely. Okay, so that's good to know at least. So when I re enabled that, if I click it, it should work still, correct, good, good. If I refresh it, hopefully it still works. There you go. So there's an easy solution. And so, as you can tell, the way I figure that solution is, is I actually, the best way to do is come through and disable them if you know what the extension probably is. I kind of knew it was the uh, Chromecast, or sorry, the Cast tab app for the Chromecast for your Google Chrome browser. So I kind of knew right away, so I, that's why I kind of disabled that and didn't have to go through too much of the hassle. A fast way of doing that to double check to see if it even is an extension is to restart your Chromebook and to sign in to guest mode. That way you don't have any extensions already uh, enabled and see if the same thing happens. If it happens, then you know it's outside of the extensions. If it doesn't happen, then you know, um, sorry, if it hap yeah, you know what I mean anyways, sorry. <laughs> a lot of coffee in my system right now. So that's pretty much the basic one, just that how you want to, you know, go ahead and kind of troubleshoot some stuff. Uh, that's going to be the basics on that. You also want to do is come into uh, Chrome colon slash slash uh, double backslash and then um, flags, I believe. Yeah, flags. Uh, this is another thing. If you come in here and you enable flags, you know, these are come, some of these ex uh, features are experimental. Some of the features can't be enabled it's on, you know, which Chrome OS version you're running. Uh, I do recommend, of course, always running the beta, just because I've ran the dev for a long period of time, and there's been plenty of experiences where, you know, it's kind of hung up on me. So it's only, you know, don't go on the dev mode unless you're, you know, you're going to be willing to have problems occur on probably a every two-week, maybe three-week basis. And they're not really problems, you know, it's just they're trying to figure out those problems. So if you've enabled any flags, again, signing into your guest mode is going to help, you know, figure that out. So don't just think that, if you sign into guest mode and the problem goes away, that it could be just the extensions. It also could be a flag if you've gone so far as to enable any flags. So that's going to be the second way. The third way that we will fix this is going to be possibly an internet connection. So if you're having real, real troubles, it could be your connectivity between your router and your Chrome OS device. Now again, that's probably really unlikely but don't take that out of consideration just in case. Again, this is a very, very simple, quick tutorial, just, you know, kind of showing you guys. Uh, a lot of people just know this off the bat, restart, 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 but, you know, some people use uh, YouTube instead of Google.com to do their search to find some information out, and so this video is pretty much directed directly at you guys. Now, if you found other ways to figure things out, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to throw one more thing out there for everybody that's running a Chrome OS device. If you press Control, Shift, and I. I do not know if you get this screen pop up with my screen recorder, but what it's showing is going to be uh, tell us what happened and I've, con I've contacted, I believe, a quicker way of contacting a ninja. 
Uh, what a ninja is is going to be a Chrome OS expert and they're the ones that are on the back side that can get in touch with the developers or our developers themselves so they know kind of what's going on. Uh, make sure that when you send something to them that you go to where the error is, try to re make the error happen and then take a screen or it'll automatically take a screenshot but make sure you click the include screenshot. That way when you send it to them they kind of know what's going on. And there you go and that's pretty much it. Uh, another good helpful area is going to be if you come into the Chromebook group which is going to be, uh, you can go into this Chromebook Central group right here, which I think it actually merged. Let's double check on that real fast. I know the Google Chrome uh, Reddit subdirectory has merged with the, I believe, the Chrome OS subdirectory. So if you're looking for a direct Chromebook, it's going to be merged with that. Yeah, so you're going to see here, you know, there's another little area where you can come in here and you can kind of uh, find some answers that you're looking for. Uh, if you want to get socially active with people and get involved with the community, then I do recommend the Chromebooks community for Google+. Plus. So, uh, there you go. If you have any questions, like I said before earlier in the video, leave them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.